What is up, Booboo Gang? So today, we're going to be reacting to Top 10 Insane Courtroom Freakouts After Sentencing. Shout out to all the subscribers worldwide. Oh, Shout out to all of y'all. Beautiful people! Oh, I just do that just because it That's extra, like it. extra, extra read all about no. me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? Shout out to all of y'all who be supporting the videos, watching the videos. Commenting on the videos, whether it's good or bad. Shout out to all y'all, you know what I'm saying? Listen, if you negative, man, I don't care. Man. Also, if you got something negative to say about me, then I ain't going to read your comments, though, man. I'm going to keep it moving, man. We really don't get with that. But if it's positive, you know what I mean? I'm going to show you love. i shout you out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put a little heart by your comment. What's up? That means that we read the comment. we showing you love. Niggas, that's going to be negative. We just going, oh, okay, next one, okay, next one, until somebody shows love in there. So it don't matter. But most of the time we get love, so shout out to all of you. Show love, man, not hate, baby. For real, for real. That's what it is, man. So this is top 10 insane courtroom freakouts after sentencing. Cause after y'all be sentenced, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in they be in they feelings. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time, man. That's facts. <laughs> Straight up. I've seen so I've seen people like pass out because they got sentenced. Listen, man, one like is, 25 to life one, type stuff. One bad one bad decision can cost you your life, man. So make sure it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? People be flipping out and bugging the hell out. I mean, People out here fighting over Popeye's chicken now and getting stabbed. Getting killed and over Popeye's Jumping behind counters. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, you doing too much. Out here, gotta start thinking, man. Slow your roll. Anyway. What you gonna say when you in jail for stabbing somebody for Popeye's chicken? <laughs> they gonna be like, what you in here for? Stab a nigga for some a chicken. A Popeye's chicken sandwich. Come on, man. Crazy. Man. That anyway. you can't even eat after you do what you do. Man, anyway. Let them do what they gonna do. He don't need to be laying on no mental no, hospital. He need to go to prison, man. Come on, sir. Let's go. 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 Let
time here, this is the top 10 insane courtroom outbursts after sentencing. Things are about to get pretty crazy around here, and if you guys missed our brand new series called The Prison Life Of, you guys can click right over here. It's a completely different type of video that we've ever done on this channel for the first time in like four years. So make sure you guys go check it out. Alright, let's get into this one. Number 10. <laughs> So that was actually the father of three victims who was sexually assaulted by Larry Nassar. Larry Nassar, I know the name probably sounds very familiar to you guys, but he was the USA gymnastics doctor who sexually assaulted more than 150 women. He was sentenced Man. to 175 years in prison. That page only goes 200 years. Sir, I'm giving you 175 years. Which is 2100 months. In court, this father just couldn't stand Larry Nassar, so he wanted to hurt him himself. So he actually appeared in court, and then he asked the judge this. To grant me five minutes in a locked room with this demon. I have you do that? Of course the judge said no, but this father did what he wanted to do anyways. He was outraged. He was furious. You can't do that. That's not how our legal system well, works. <laughs> so lucky what? he wasn't charged for this attack. In fact, nothing actually happened to this father at all. It, it, he was only given a warning. Just for the record, you need to know that I could give you a jail sentence. I could fine you up to $7,500. Okay, so let's move on to number nine. Now, this one is different. There was an outburst in court, but this isn't what you guys think. A man approached a judge for a crime he committed, and as soon as he realized who the judge was, he had an outburst, he broke down in tears, and he was crying. Sorry to see you there. I always wondered what happened to you, sir. Oh, my goodness. This, this is the nicest kid in middle school. <laughs> Judge Mindy Glazer, who actually went to middle school with the convict, who was 49 year old Arthur Booth. And the judge Mindy remembered him as this, like, very, very nice kid. Well, as soon as he realized who Judge Mindy was, he started to break down and cry. Aww. Mr. Booth, I hope you were able to change your ways. Good luck to you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Number eight. What the heck? That's crazy. So you went to school with her? And uh, she's a judge. She's a judge. And he's a criminal. <laughs> what the heck? I don't think he's in the criminal. He just, he, he probably just got caught up or something. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Number eight. Man, I that you go. It was an explosive. So that was his sister freaking out when she found out that her brother Lance Azire has just received an 11 year prison sentence for stealing a vehicle and leading a police on a high pursuit car chase. Lance was just 16 years old at the time and he had a gun on him. But police got close to him, Lance bailed from his car and he ran outside. He tried to get away from police officers but he was also aiming the gun at a police officer. A police officer shot him in the hand and he was quickly arrested. At number seven we have a Michael Thomas, who had a huge outburst in court. This man is so dangerous and is so unsteady, he had to appear in a courtroom where whoever attended the court hearing in the audience actually had to stand behind this glass wall. They couldn't be in the same room, per se. <laughs> even had to calm down the friends and family members in the audience. People were so on the edge that more police officers had to be called in. I think at one point there was over 20 officers in one room trying to handle the situation. Michael Thomas ended up being sentenced to 35 years in prison plus 10 years of extended supervision after he pleaded guilty to two charges of first degree reckless homicide in the murder of Sharon Staples and her unborn child during a robbery that actually took place back in 2011. Moving into number six. <coughs> Who lashed out at See, the family be screaming at the police, but your family member is acting out in the court. Like, what are they supposed to do? They got to protect people in the courtroom. You know what I'm saying? The lawyers, the, the, the DAs, the judge, 
and family members that's in there. Like they gotta protect y'all. So what they, so it's just like yeah. if he doing things, spitting on people, like whatever they doing, they gotta protect the the people in there. They just can't yeah. let, like let him just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Come on, they man. Going crazy with the handcuffs on. Man. Yeah, that's, like you know what I'm saying? Wild. Like, it, come on, man. It's, it's anyway. For real. Anyway, that's by crazy. throwing his stand down, and he made a move towards the judge. I don't think that you know threatening a judge is a good idea because your life is literally in their hands. So what are you thinking? Jalal pleaded guilty to second degree murder and tampering with evidence. By pleading guilty, he has a chance at parole at some point in his life, but he was sentenced to 25 to 75 years, which is a huge range. Jalal's mother was also freaking out in courtroom right after the sentencing was announced. <laughs> We have a judge who just can't family. handle this convict. What you're about to see is a convict who just won't stop talking. So the judge said that he is going to have him gagged. But the convict continues to speak. And you guys won't believe what happens next. I'm going to gag you in one second. So just listen to me. Okay. You're going to have that gag. Oh, no. Oh, you put it tight on me, man. We Is this real life right now? I'm not even sure that Quit this is allowed. This must violate this man's rights. I'm not trying to defend the convict here, but he was trying just to defend himself because he felt like he wasn't being heard. He was being accused of four armed robberies. Just to make light of the situation, there was actually a funny part in this video. At the end of the video, the judge starts talking again, saying that he will have a chance to speak, but it's not going to be now. And then all of a sudden, the convict, he was still able to talk. He was still able to speak, even even though the tape was on his mouth. And it took like 10 police officers to put the tape on this man's mouth, but every single, they, they just did a horrible job. Mr. Williams will have a chance to speak. Uh, and I'll be honored for every Number four, this next clip is a little bit hard to see, but what you're about to see is a judge who starts to freak out and he actually leaves his seat. It looks like the judge was about to fight this convict. Stand up. You're going to jail for a year in the county, 365 days county jail. So, I mean, this is something you don't see every day. So after the judge walks away, the man starts to fight with the officer in the courtroom. Put your hands behind your back. Moving into number three, we have a murderer who tried to exercise his rights to stand up in court. I'm not sure if this is even a right to be able to, you know, stand up in a courtroom, but police officers told this convicted murderer to sit down, but he wanted to stand up. So that guy was actually being convicted of the beheading death of a 19 year old. I mean, that is just so sickening. I think not only this guy doesn't deserve to stand up in court, I think he deserves to just be, you know, forgotten about in prison for the rest of his life. This next one is super hard to watch. At number two, we are about to see a father who confronts his son's killer. You don't need to be laying on no, no mental hospital. He need, he need to go to prison, man. Come on, sir. He want to play crazy. He went, he went crazy when he killed my mother and my son, man. This father was freaking out because the man who killed his son was trying to get leniency by pleading insanity, meaning he wasn't in, you know, the right state of mind when he committed the murder. So he'll be able to get a lesser of a sentence. They shouldn't be able to do that. What? Like, plead that they basically can go into a hospital yeah, instead of going to jail. He's trying to get off. You know how that is, man. Because y'all be having no mental issues, but they yeah, want to plead yeah, like you. Yeah. Have mental issues. No, he's trying to get off. He's trying yeah. to get off, but they ain't gonna work though. For real. He wasn't in, you know, the right state of mind when he committed the murder. So he'll be able to get a lesser of a sentence. He'll be able to serve his time in a mental institution. I feel for this father, and I would be freaking out as well. I, I, I couldn't contain myself in this situation. There's just no way. This man will to you, man. You try to get away from you, and you murder the man like you. You murder the man like that. When I first watched the clip, I had tears in my eyes. I just couldn't imagine what this father was going through. And finally, at number one, we have a judge who freaked out. You were relentless. You stab. You stab. You stab. You stab. You stab. The judge was so angry because he was sentencing a woman who was convicted of killing her boyfriend. She showed no signs of remorse. At the end of the sentencing, the judge said, I hope you die in prison. The family. 
I hope you die in prison as well. You know, if this was a death penalty state, you'd be getting the chair. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hey. I'll see you guys oh, in the next one. Like, um, some people That's don't have tough. No, some people don't have no remorse for what they do. Like she's sitting there smiling. The dude family probably was behind her. And she just smiled like it ain't nothing, man. But you know, it's it's sad, man. If you don't wanna do the time, don't do the crime, man. Right. It's what it is, man. You think if you get caught doing a crime, like killing somebody or something, like 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 they're gonna be leaning on you and, and like sitting there crying, I ain't mean it. Yes, you did. You shouldn't have did it. Right. So it is. So it is what it is, man. I don't. That's really tough, though. There's certain things I couldn't be, you know. I don't know. I wouldn't put myself in certain positions. Mhm. Mm I just couldn't do it. These families be crazy. The inmates be crazy. Yeah, because because the judges be doing stuff. Yeah, because that they're not it's emotional. It's, yeah. it's like it's emotional. You know what I'm saying? People murder. I mean, killing people, robbing people. You know what I'm saying? People, family members that's like the a victim's family that's in there, like it's emotional. Yeah. It ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like like that's serious. So, you know, I don't know. Anyway, man. That's why you don't do crime, you know? Make sure y'all subscribe. Shout out to everybody worldwide, man. Peace with y'all. Peace out. <laughs> Girl, I'm all about you. Ain't no love with no trust.